Hello everybody and welcome to a Thomas One Fabulous Review. I just tried to record this video but the video thing would only let me record it to 7 minutes. My phone limits me on recording but if my phone didn't limit me on recording I'd record it to an hour of video. But then I'd have to verify my YouTube channel then re-upload it so that you guys could watch an hour long video on my channel. Would you guys ever imagine watching an hour long video on my channel? That would pretty much be a live stream. Even though I'd be recording the video. Could you guys ever imagine uploading an hour video onto YouTube? How long for me that would take? Uploading a 15 or 13 minute video itself causes 3 hours. It'd probably say 3 days. I'd be like... Are you serious? Then you don't get a notification from me for three days because that's how long it took to upload just that video. And you guys ever imagine it saying, Oh, upload canceled. You had no you had no Wi Fi. I'll be like You're kidding me at this point, correct though? Okay. So anyways, we're going to be reviewing two cars today, Bobby Swift, hiding over there, and Tow Truck Tom. So since this video is only going to be 10 minutes, 15 seconds, I want to hurry things up real quick. So first off, let's talk about his appearance, review him, and then we move on to Bobby, and then we talk about the two of them in general. So... Wait, I think I already told you guys where where I got him from, so I was about to be like saying that again and then I'd have to delete this video, then re record it because I screwed up so easily. So anyways <clears throat> Tow Truck Tom appeared in the first cars movie. Consider it he's a tow truck at the piston cup and he needs to help all the cars that have crashed or need a tow. You can't imagine a car who's lost the tire, who's so cr who's so banged up to drive on its own. Have you guys ever been in car in a car accident? Your car is so damaged that the wheels are so broken they can't even move. Like you're pressing the gas pedal, but the wheel won't move. It's just bented. The axle won't move because you guys look at your car like okay, it's just nothing. But under the hood, it's really a whole different setting. If you take your car apart, you'll find stuff, really. Don't take your car apart. I'm just telling you guys this. Don't take your car apart. Just don't. It's pretty stupid. So anyways, let's get into the review. Wait, there's one more thing I have to talk about. If you guys have watched Cars 1, you would pretty much know where this guy appeared. We're going to use Thomas for this for no good reason. So, Chick Hicks caused a big crash, and the Chuck Armstrong, the Mood Springs racer, number 33, he had crashed. I think I know how to work this hook. Hold up. Can I try something here? Hold up. Let me try. That should work. So, Mood Springs was badly damaged, so he had to be towed away. Don't take me out, Chief! I can still win this race! No, we can't. You guys should have seen him. If you guys have seen Cars 1, you could have seen how badly damaged he was. They even made a die cast of that. Or was that a custom? RC Cars 5 did a review on it, and I'm pretty sure they made it, right? Whatever, though. I wouldn't know. So anyway, let's get into the review of this. He is a piston cup tow truck, because he has these winches in the back so he can lift up a car. He has blue eyes. Consider it, most of the cars have blue eyes. 
He has a nice smiley expression. How could you look at this expression and say something's wrong with it? He has yellow, but on the car, when you're looking at this car in real life, on the door where it says piston cup all the way down, it's bright yellow. But the yellow on the back, on the camera, it looks so similar. Can't really tell the difference. But on the back, the yellow is different. Pretty much like this yellow. So it kind of matches along. He's painted a really dark blue. And Disney and Pixar and Mattel left this blue thing up here. You can even see the yellow curve in a little. On the other side, it's perfect. He has a really big grill, little headlights, blue rims. This car looks pretty cool when you look at it. He has no brake lights to tell anybody he's braking, so he can just hit the brakes automatically. Nobody sees red lights and I feel sorry for him. Since he is like a medical truck, he has to wear the sirens. He has yellow to he has yellow cables at the back. Jesus, it's been six minutes already. This stuff, and that's it. So anyways, let's get into the review of Bobby real quick. Then I'll talk about his appearance, and then we're done. So he's number 19. I colored all over him, so. He has stripes like Dirksen Diego Sino, the trunk fresh racer. His sponsors are the Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitroweight, Octane Gain, Itself, and Clutch Aid. And he has the old logo. See? He has a nice smile. Lights. Octane Game was written. Green eyes. Light year. 19 under the headlight. The same thing on the side. He has... He has gray rims, but obviously I colored in them. Black light your tires. Octane Gain. It looks like Bobby Swift is a rookie because the yellow matches on the back. But no. Octane game. That's pretty much it. So since we have three minutes, I guess I have time to talk about his appearance. So Bobby Swift, in Cars 1, he's a different Octane game racer. As you guys know in my review of Tim Treadless, Bobby is number 19 because the real-life NASCAR driver, Daniel Suarez, has to be Daniel Suarez is number 19. So, since Daniel was going to voice the next gen and everybody was getting replaced, Bobby's number had to change so it would make sense. Bobby can't be number 58. Then, Bobby could have just went to number 19. Two octane gain racers, but two different numbers. That makes sense. So he appeared throughout most of Cars 3, but when, Light when Lightning McQueen is winning all the time, Jackson Storm comes in, and pretty much after the race in Copper Canyon in Arizona, Bobby Swift is pretty much gone. You don't see him, and then Danny Suarez comes in. It's over. So now we have a minute and 15 seconds. Let's finish it up. So that's where he appeared and stuff. Remember, guys, this video had to be two reviews in one because, yeah. So if you're watching this on a Friday or any other day, today is Thursday, September 28th. If this video gets uploaded on the 29th tomorrow, which is Friday, so happy. So anyways, that's it for this video. Like this video. Share it with all your friends. Subscribe. And guess what, you guys? If I put my YouTube channel on a card, you guys know that every view I get, I get 50 cents. Imagine how much money I'll have. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this review. Um, I pretty much just said everything I needed to say. So we have 15 seconds starting now. All right, you guys. 
Sorry. Bye.